Hey guys, Jamie and Sarah here. Today we're gonna show you two TV stands we bought for $50 a piece. They're brand new from Wayfair. We're gonna share with you how we find these items and how much profit we made. So we are on our way to go get two TV stands. I found them from a different guy who does pallet flips. They're brand new from Wayfair. They're mid-century, they're really cool. We got them for 50 bucks a piece and they are valued around 300. A so, piece. a piece. Woo. We won't be able to get that because they're not from the site, but we can definitely take a nice photo of them and I'm thinking 150 a piece. So, sweet. pretty sweet deal. So we're heading up there now and we'll show you guys what we got. Which one should we open first? So this one looks not damaged. This one I'm not so sure about. So we're gonna do a little bit of an unboxing to see if it actually is in okay shape. So let's open it. So with these pallet deals, you really never know what you're gonna get. So if you buy anything from a pallet, I don't think they have like a return policy. So you kind of, it's a gamble for sure. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Nice. Wow, that's pretty cute. Hey, that's pretty good. No broken pieces yet that I see. Yeah. Let's dig in and see. Looks pretty intact. Looking good. What do you think? Wait, it looks good to me. We'll have to see if there's anything actually missing. That's also a big possibility, but it's pretty cool little piece. I like it. All right, so we got this all out of the box and I see a couple things I like. One, there's no broken pieces, and then two, there's not that many parts. I'm hoping there's none missing, but if you guys have ever installed IKEA furniture before, you know that the more parts, the more of a headache you have. So I don't think it's gonna be too bad. What do you think? Pretty sweet. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. These legs don't seem like the original legs. Um, they're not flat on the bottom. They look good to me. Ooh. That's so cool. pretty. So I'm about a half an hour in and I've actually made some pretty good progress. Um, I've done a few of these before so I kind of know what I'm doing but um, they're still kind of a process to put together so I'm um, hoping another half an hour and I'll be done. How's it going? Good. What do you think? Sweet. Can I get the final picture there? Yeah. What are you on the stage at? Mm. Well, that's a good question. Cause it's, Cause it's short, you mean? Yeah. Be really good for like a record player. Oh yeah, that's true. I like that. All right guys, so just as a reminder, we bought this from someone who liquidates pallets and they sell individual pieces. I was able to score this one for $50. It was brand new in box. It's from Wayfair. It retails for $243. Um, it's got really cool mid-century legs on it. It's got some nice design. It's really low to the ground, so it's probably gonna be somebody's TV stand, which those typically aren't nearly as desirable as like something that's a little higher for like a hutch in a kitchen or a credenza. So we're gonna list this at 180, which is definitely a lot cheaper than the 243 price tag on Wayfair. We'll see if we can get that. If we can't, we might have to lower it to 150, but we're gonna start off high and just be patient. So we've gotten several comments from people who are a little leery about bringing old furniture into their house. Um, but you can still flip furniture without having to deal with some of that old stuff. So really what we got paid for here is to basically build the furniture. That's all we did. So pick it up, build it, take a nice picture and sell it. So there's ways to flip furniture without having to get really the old nasty stuff. All right, so we're on to hutch number two. We're gonna open this one and see if everything's there and if everything's intact. So I'm actually more excited about this hutch than the other one. So let's open her up and see what we got. Looks pretty good. Looks perfect to me. Doesn't look like it's been opened at all. Yeah. So someone probably just decided they didn't want it and returned it. Pretty yes. cool. Yeah. It's nice. Kind Isn't of farmhouse. That, that's the end, right? That's not the door. Oh, is it? Yeah, because it was the wicker, right? Oh. So I just finished taking all this stuff out and laying it out ready to build it, and I realized that it's actually the wrong one. So she, when she loaded it in our car yesterday at the pallet place, she gave us the wrong one and I'm super bummed because the other one was definitely worth a lot more. So we're actually, I talked to her and she said she was really sorry. It was just an honest mistake. Um, we're gonna bring this one back and exchange it um, and go back and get the other one. So I have to box all this back up and go do that. So it's a little bit of a hiccup. That's kind of the name of the game with this pallet stuff is like, 
just weird stuff kind of happens with it. So we're gonna go take care of that and go get the other one. Right, here we go, right here. Sure. Yeah. I'm strong. Round two, here we go. Wait, are you sure this is the right one? <laughs> let's hope so. We just returned the other one. Now we got the right one home. So let's just hope it's not broken. Let's see. Looks like this one has definitely been returned. The other one was not as disheveled. Got our screws, that's good. All right. Come oh. on. Looks like a little dent there. This one looks kind of stained or something. Just like a weird oh, discoloration, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. This is definitely not wicker like the picture looked. It's like a burlap on wood. It still is cool but maybe not quite as trendy as I was hoping. All right, so we just finished unboxing the new TV stand from the one that we returned, um, and it looks in pretty good shape. There was one little defect, um, but I think it's fixable. The one kind of disappointing thing is that it's not actually cane like the photo looked. It's like a burlap sack material. Um, it still is pretty cool. I think it's still gonna be desirable and trendy, maybe just not quite as trendy as the cane. This piece I'm excited about because it's a lot taller than a TV stand typically is. So it can definitely go in like a dining room or a kitchen. Um, so it's a lot more versatile of a piece. And so that way I think we can actually get more for it than the other TV stand. So let's get to work. Here. So then right there. Yep. They go this way or upside down like this? All right, so this shelf was the only damaged part of the whole thing. You can see there's a little mark right there. Um, but it was a little separated too. So all I did was took a little L bracket I had, or actually a tiny little hinge I had, and attached it on the bottom to, to draw that in. Um, and now it looks brand new. So pretty simple fix, and I think um, no one's even gonna notice, so. So we are super glad that we returned the other one and did this one, because we think this one is a lot cooler. So its retail value is $300, so I think we're going to ask $220 for it. It's in perfect shape and we put it all together for somebody, so that's what we're going to ask for it. If we can sell this one for $220 with the other TV stand that we sold for $180, uh, that will be $400, which is a $300 profit. Jamie and I like to try to track our hours so that we are making sure that we're not spending too much time for how much profit we're making. Between picking these two hutches up and actually building them and listing them, we have about four hours in. So for a $300 profit, we feel pretty good about that. The pallet liquidator that we originally bought these from had these listed for a few weeks. She actually originally started at $150 a piece, but she just showed a picture of the box. It wasn't a great picture. They didn't put them together. You didn't even really know if all the pieces were there. Um, so we, she kept lowering the price and lowering it. And finally I asked her if she would do both for a hundred and she said yes. So we decided when we bought these that we would put them together to make sure that all the pieces were there and nothing was broken. And we're also taking a better picture of it in our home so they can kind of envision it in their space as well. Um, so we were able to get top dollar for these compared to the other woman who just took a picture of the box. Um, so it really, those photos really do make a difference. So if you're interested in finding brand new furniture like this for super cheap that you can resell from Wayfair, Walmart, Amazon, anything like that, um, try to find a pallet liquidator in your area. So that means that someone is buying pallets of return merchandise and they're getting rid of it super cheap. Just search your local Facebook groups, search the actual term pallet liquidation and you will definitely find some in your area. So pallet flipping is becoming a really big trend right now. So there's definitely gonna be some around you. We actually just bought um, two pallets from Amazon. We're working on that video right now. So stay tuned. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, make sure you like this video and subscribe. We love to talk about unique ways to make money outside of a nine to five on our channel. Um, so we'll see you next time.